Hello everyone, welcome to Malik Jo 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Again, I am with one more live interview happened with one of my friend uh, who has attended this interview and he has shared all these questions with me and then I wanted to share all these questions with you guys. The, the company is going to be Saudi Arabian company, one of Saudi Arabian company and the interview type was Zoom meeting and happened on 1st of July. And the interview time is approximately around 40 to 45 minutes. Looking at these, looking at these questions, uh, the the project seemed to be uh, upgradations and migrations and some performance tuning of uh, the projects. Uh, because you know, if you if you look into these questions, you also feel the same thing. The project is mostly related to upgradations and migrations and some performance tuning after the migrations. So before I get started with these questions, so if you are new to my channel, I request you to you know subscribe my channel Malik 34 and if you missed out my previous videos you always go back to youtube and refer my my channel you malik034 and if you like my videos you always share like and comment uh, let's look at these questions how how these questions are and some are tricky and some are you know easy and some are you know challenging uh, you know and uh, as i said these questions looks like you know the project is for upgradations and migrations related kind of project so the question number one is, you know, the they started with question number one, like explain TTS transportable table space, how it works, and what are what are the high level steps. And the question number two is, what is a cross platform migration, and explain high level steps. So what is a cross platform migration, right? You know, in case of database migration, it will be on the same platform or cross platform or same EDN format or different EDN format. So different concept will come. So this particular question talks about the you know cross platform migration from linux to windows or linux to solarize or solarize to linux you know different uh, OS flavors uh, how you will migrate your database right that's uh, one of the tricky question and uh, what are the baselines and profiles baselines and profiles are basically for the you know performance tuning so once you do your uh, uh, database migration so this baselines and profiles play a very very important role to uh, you know figure it out uh, uh, is there any performance issue or you know a performance impact and then the fourth question is how do you create a profile right so this is one of uh, challenging uh, you know to create your profile you need to go with AWR uh, history and then you know you get the best execution plan and then uh, you have to create a pick up a best execution plan and then uh, create a profile on top of that execution plan and tag it so it is one of the challenging task for the dba so you know uh, uh, you should uh, have aware of how what is profile and then how it works and then how to create a profile so okay question number five is uh, what are the things you will check before you uh, you know migrate your database so before you migrate your database like you know consider production database before you go ahead with the production migration so what are the things you will consider so do you really follow sdlc and uh, you know is that development and test and uat environment successfully uh, you know uh, uh, migrated and uh, all the uh, applications are tested properly and uh, at the dba side like what are the pre required checks what are the os os requirement and what are the network requirements so what uh, all those things right like what are the preliminary checks you do it before you do migration your database right and question number six is uh, basically for the exadata like what is hcc how it works and how you will enable what are the type of hcc so basically this is uh, kind of uh, you know uh, exadata feature uh, you know uh, if uh, who has worked on hcc they will easily answer this question and again question number seven is related to exadata how to make sure that rollback is possible in case of cell patching and db patching suppose you have patched your db nodes and cell nodes and uh, what is the analysis you check it out what are the possibilities you check it at rollback is possible so sometimes rollback will fail and uh, sometimes db rollback will fail sometimes m do m db node rollback will fail and cell node rollback will fail so before you proceed with the rolling back your patch so what are the checks you do it so this is basically they are looking for this preliminary checks before you proceed with the rollback and question number eight is explain about unidirectional and bidirectional golden gate replication mechanism how it works and high level steps they are expecting so question number nine is where you find cell logs and cell alert logs in exata cell server in exata cell server one of the administration task is whenever there is an issue between all your cell service uh, m, m, you know, uh, uh, cell restart service cell service service and uh, you know management service so any of these service goes down and then all these services will have its own alert logs and if cell has an issue it cell has its cell alert log and then cell logs all these logs are located under one particular location so what are the location what are the cell alert log and cell logs are resides in the cell server not in the db server it is uh, precisely about the cell server 
and the question number 10 is how to extrude ol api and apex component while upgrading your database suppose you are uh, you know you know that you know database has around uh, 18 to uh, approximately 18 to 24 20 i don't know like each database will be having different different components right like ol api apex and uh, cluster uh, and uh, uh, you know many more component i cannot recollect it so uh, how is there any possibility to exclude few of the component and only upgrade a selected component is it available and it can be possible so that is what they are looking into that when you are doing your database upgrade while installation you can exclude few of the components you if you don't need it you can exclude the component like olap apex if you don't need you can just uncheck it and then you can install it but while upgrading is it possible to exclude any of the component if wrongly installed or installed uh, in the lower version that i know i don't need it in a, a higher version so can can it be possible while the upgradations can i uh, unselect uh, that particular component that is what they are asking here and the question number 18 is you have done 18c and 19c have you done your 18c and 19c database upgrade and what is the difference you feel it as compared to the 11g upgrade right so because why they are asking this question is the next question we will talk about that so what is the db upgrade and auto upgrade this auto upgrade one of the new feature in 19c uh, and uh, you know uh, what what is that uh, auto upgrade mean so they are looking for this one so that is the difference here in 18c and 19c so if you go with 18c or 19c the auto upgrade is one of the new feature so that will not be available in 11g so they are talking about this auto upgrade so in the 12th question they are asking the same question like what is the db upgrade and auto upgrade how auto upgrade works and uh, what is the uh, you know what is the usefulness uh, in the in the auto upgrade right so that is one of the brilliant feature in 19c and uh, what are 19c new features and uh, specifically they are looking for automatic indexing and automatic gather stats these are the two important new features in 19c so they are they are looking for these answers and what are those and how it works and question number 14 explain about same EDN format and different EDN format database migration. So if you are migrating your uh, database with the same EDN format or uh, different EDN format, uh, what are the consideration? What are what are you going to look? What is the difference? You will feel it, right? Okay. Then question number 15 is somewhat tricky. What it says? Somebody has dropped one table. It's a very small table of one MB in one of the schema, and need to restore that table and flashback is not enabled in my database but i do have a level 0 backup and uh, but level 0 backup is of 50 terabyte and how you will restore that 50 terabyte backup and where you will restore it and how quickly you can get it back that table there is a business impact going on so you need to rebuild that you need to restore that table as quickly as possible but the backup size is of 50 terabyte and then how you will restore it so i do not have anything i do not have any storage or any server to restore that 50 terabyte of storage i do not have storage also so how we will do it how we will get it one of the challenging questions and question number 16 is dba is hung what you will do what is your uh, initial check and how you try to fix it db is hung and what is ib bonding and what is ethernet bonding again they are going with some uh, you know exadata and networking so ib bonding will come in exadata ib bonding and ethernet bonding bonding is you know uh, or combining two two or three or four interfaces and making active active or active passive uh, you know uh, or active active or active passive configuration so they are asking for that one and what is lacp in bonding it will come only lacp is a one of the mechanism you can use lacp for bonding so they are looking for this one they are basically looking for exact and networking here and question number 19 uh, what is a capture and replay so you know this is one of the uh, one of the preliminary task customer will do it uh, most of the migration projects so you know you are going to capture your loads and then you are replaying the load once you migrate your database or once you upgrade your database to make sure that you know you are getting uh, optimal performance or best performance so this is challenging so you know, most of them are like not aware but you know there are many tools for this capture and replay so you should know high level steps on that so this is i think uh, uh, as i told this questions looks to be for the uh, mostly the project going to be migration project or upgradation project so and then they're looking for some migration and upgradations uh, candidate and uh, and also for the performance tuning once you do migration and what are the best possible performance tuning you can do it
so i hope uh, this is very much uh, very important questions guys so please try to uh, boost yourself with these questions and try to get the answers if you don't find the answers you always try to ping me uh, if possible even i try to uh, you know write answer for all this and then uh, you know i'll share with you guys uh, thank you guys